Stories of people. Stories of struggle. Stories of hope. The Silent Front is a four-part series which explores the stories of people from different perspectives during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hello, my name is Douglas and I'm currently the President of Singapore Manufacturing Federation since 2014. I'm uh, Benjamin, I'm 47 years old. I've been the, the CEO of Sinoco Energy for the last three years. Hi, I'm Simon Sui, founder and managing director for Sun City Maintenance. Hey, my name is James Wong. I'm the uh, managing director of uh, OE Manufacturing, a company that uh, manufacture hydraulic cylinder. So it's been uh, maybe 24 years. Singapore Manufacturing Federation has been around since 1932. It is 88 years old this year. It actually champions manufacturing, being a partner in nation building. Uh, we have been serving the nation for more than uh, 40 years and we currently supply around 20% of the electricity in uh, Singapore. We have been in this industry for 25 years. At the same time, we also the amount of pioneer group of providing disinfectant services under NEA. Stories of struggle. The COVID-19 actually brought about in a very swift manner of how the supply chain has been disrupted. And that leads to a lot of angst and a lot of uncertainty for the enterprises. Well, I think um, particularly for the, those employees who continue to work at the plant, um, some of their family members were concerned about their well-being and, and their health and so we had to um, yeah, convince them that um, we, we were really taking every possible measure even before some of the measures were adopted at uh, national level. Most of our staff are quite uh, elderly, uh, and not, not really uh, sort, sort of young school uh, leaver that they work with us. Most of them have uh, family to feed. So I'm sure this uh, COVID will somehow make them feel fearful that they may lose the job and not able to uh, make ends meet. But uh, we assure them that uh, this will not happen uh, as long as we uh, cooperate and move together. I think we should be able to overcome this. Around April, uh, some of our clients are affected by circuit breaker and some even stop our services. This uh, will affect our overall company performance. As we have a culture of putting our worker first in, our, in the company, we did not reduce any salary package for anyone despite the financial challenges that we face. I think um, some of the persons that we often forget about are the foreign uh, workers. It's been a difficult time for, for many of them, particularly since they are you know, far from home and living here without their, their family. So we need to remember that they've been instrumental in delivering uh, a lot of the uh, services uh, that, are, that have made Singapore what it is uh, today. And so I think we should be um, really showing our, our, our gratitude uh, to them and, and also put more focus focus on their well-being uh, as they are really um, essential to, to, to the uh, present and to the future of, uh, of Singapore. Stories of hope. Everybody is playing their part, uh, cooperating with each other to make sure that everybody uh, stays safe. I think that is fantastic. That's really fantastic. I hope that the country can um, overcome uh, this difficult uh, moment, showing the, the same um, courage um, that our, the founding fathers of Singapore uh, showed during the, the nation uh, building. We will emerge much stronger. I hope everyone in Singapore will be healthy and safe. Uh, in Singapore, what I think that. Oh
and beauty and music light and gay there are frail forms fainting at the door though their voices are silent their pleading looks will say oh hard times come again no more tis the song is the song The Silent Front. The Silent Front. The Silent Front. We are all part of the Silent Front. Jia Yu, Jia Yu. Oh! 